Hey everyone, welcome back to El Rey Books. I'm Ellie. This is the backside of Percy, and today I'm doing my October book haul. So I've already done a book haul this month uh, for my birthday, which was in early October. Uh, but I bought quite a lot of books this month, so I wanted to share these ones as well. Um, these aren't all of them. I have five other books that I bought, but they are related to my NaNoWriMo project. So I want to talk a little bit more uh, about them in a separate video. Um, but these are my sort of like, yeah, these are my non-writing related ones, basically. Writing some research. Anyway, um, you've seen quite a few. I was going to say, you've seen quite a few of them. You've seen two of them. Um, um, well, we'll start with with one of them because I've already read it. So this is Dear Girls by Ellie Wong. You guys saw this one in a week in reads. Uh, last week? Yeah, last week. Um, so I finished it up and I really enjoyed it and I will talk about it more in a wrap up. Um... We're not really going to go in an order today. We're just going to go randomly. Um, so, of course, I bought Ninth House by Lee Bardugo, which you also saw in a Weekend Reads video a few weekends back, but I haven't read it. I haven't even started it yet. I said I was going to start it, and I didn't. And um, hopefully I will actually get some time this week, because, I mean... <laughs> It's November, things are starting to get crazy, so I just want to make sure I finish this one before the end of the year. Um, okay, let's leave that one for last. Uh, okay, so I've got a YA here. This is The Book of Dust, uh, La Belle Sauvage. Savage? Sauvage? I never had to use that word in all of the time that I learned French at school. So I know it's La Belle, and then, yeah, so, uh, this is obviously by Philip Pullman, this is the prequel series to the His Dark Material series, which is one of my favourites, so, uh, I've been kind of putting this one off, I wanted this small version, because all of my versions of the original trilogy are this size, so I just wanted it to go with that. So, I'm hoping that this is one that I can maybe get to hopefully by the end of the year, if not hopefully in January. Um, obviously the TV series is coming out soonish. I don't know the exact date, but I'm really excited for that, and I feel like once I start watching that, I'm really going to be in the mood to read this, so that might be a good kind of time. I also kind of want to reread the original trilogy now. Let's put that down before things happen. <laughs> um, and then I've just got four non-fiction here. And then another one I want to talk about separately. Um, with non-fiction non non November coming up, um, I've been thinking a lot about the genre. Is it a genre? I've been thinking a lot about non-fiction. I have like a whole stack of books like just slightly off camera that you can't see that I'm like, oh, I should get to this one and I just put it on the pile and it's it's a problem. Um, in fact, one of my friends said to one of my other friends, which literally yesterday, they were like, oh yeah, there are just stacks of books everywhere in her house. So, two of these I've read, and I don't know if you, these are kind of non-fiction, but they're also kind of children's books. Um, so they're these ones from the uh, Little People Big Dream series, which I really like. Um, these are the first two that I've actually bought. I used to read them at work 
when there was like not people around I would just like quickly fix through them or like at the end of my shift I would like stay and then like be like oh this new one came in of this person I really like and I would just like stand there and read it um bookseller confessions <laughs> anyway these are the first two that I bought which are like covered in cat fur um that's the thing about having black things and a white cat uh, anyway, these are two of my favorite people of all time, so I feel like they were ones I needed, and I've read them, and they were both two of my favorites in the series. So I have, as you saw, David Bowie and Mary Shelley. So yeah, two of my favorite people uh, have already read these. We'll talk about them in my wrap up. Um, okay, these two are super exciting ones. So. Um, I think this came out at the start of the year, I want to say. This is Australia Day by Stan Grant. I read his first book, or one of his books, I don't know if it was his first one, uh, Talking to My Country, and I loved it. And I was super excited about this one, but it is super expensive, and I was just like, maybe I'll just wait for it to come out in like the smaller edition. And then I saw this for $13 at QVD, so I had to buy it. Like I really had to buy it for that. Like it's usually $33, like that, that's a discount. Um, so I, yeah, I'm, I mean this one is going on the pile for nonfiction November and it is one that I'm really excited for so I'm hoping I can get to it. Uh, depending on whether I'm still waiting on my copy of Dark Emu, which is on my nonfiction uh, TBR, um, if that one doesn't come in by the time it, the readathon starts, uh, I might use this one for my like uh, voices because it's own voices. We'll see. Um, and then the other one I got, I'm so excited about this one. Ah, my hair. Um, I was not sure that I was going to get it because this is also a really expensive book. Um, but then I was like, you know what? It was my birthday. My brother wants to know what to buy me. Um, because I got back from the US like two days before my birthday, my brother was like, I don't know what you want. And I was like, that's fair, because I also have no idea what to get you for your birthday. Um, so I'm thinking of asking him just to like give me the money for this. Anyway. It got stuck to my couch. It's Me by Elton John. Uh, I watched the Rocketman movie on the plane over to LA and I just loved it <laughs> and I was I don't know I've never been a huge fan of Elton John I'm gonna put this down because it's heavy um like I always liked his music but I was like uh I don't know about him and then I watched the movie and I was like ah uh, you have now ruined me and I love you um so I'm really excited for this now also I've been hearing the tea that is spilled in this book about uh, some, you know, famous people that he met, including Michael Jackson. So I'm interested to see what he has to say about people. Um, and yeah, I, I'm just excited. I haven't looked at this under the cover. And I'm sorry if it's gotten noisy all of a sudden. It's just started like really raining. Oh, that's, oh, that is pretty. I don't know why I did that accent, that was weird. Um, so it's like a white, but it's got like, is that hollow? Guys, is that hollow? I think it's hollow. It's, yeah, that's hollow. That's so pretty. Christine would be so proud. Um, and then it's also got like, I'm a big sucker for like end papers and like I know this is just like a gradient but I just love anything that's a little bit different. Ah. 
I'm so excited. Okay. Must put a book down before I freak out too much. Okay. Final one I want to talk about. Um, I put this one last because this was a gift for my birthday from my best friend Angel. And it is Seven and Dove by Shelby. Nope. Ma. Ma. Maroon? Marin? Uh, yes. Angel really liked this. She just posted a review today, which is a couple of days ago for you guys, which I'll link below. Um, and obviously she's my best friend and we usually, like, agree on, well, we agree on most things, but particularly books. So, she loved it. I'm hoping I will love it. I know that this has kind of been a bit of a divisive book where people have like some people really love it some people really hate it so uh I'm interested to see where I sit um it is huge like literally huge like what is happening here um but I don't know I'm just really in the mood for a good YA fantasy at the moment so I'm thinking I'm gonna pick this one up soon but yes, that was the October book haul. Uh, you know, it's it's bigger than I wanted. I think I bought like 20 books this month. Um, but I have been reading a decent amount of books and also a decent amount of the ones that I have been buying, which I'm going to talk about in another video. But for now, this is already kind of long. So I will let you guys go and I will see you guys... Uh, I think tomorrow the way this works out with my weekend reads and then yes I will have that October wrap up soon so that I can talk to you guys more about these books and I'm still a few days out so maybe even some of them will still make it uh, but thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys then which is tomorrow bye <laughs>